this is Josh Taylor with Trade Advisor Pro, and I want to thank you for checking out our video today. Now, before we get started with today's free Forex training video, I want to give you a chance to pause this video right now and go to our website. Trade Advisor Pro offers you free Forex training, free Forex training videos, and trade alerts. And folks, you do not want to miss our trade alerts. We send out a bunch of trade alerts every month that are top rated in the industry. We send you our exact trades right to your inbox. Pause the video now. Go to tradeadvisorpro.com forward slash free and all you have to do is register and then come back to this video and we'll be sending a lot more goodies to help you with your forex trading. Enjoy today's training video. Hey everybody, so we're going to do a short video here today about a trade, actually two trades we just took here on the Euro New Zealand dollar over the last week and where we cleared um, upwards of uh, almost 900 pips on these trades, pretty close, about 850 pips on two trades on the on the same pair, Euro and New Zealand dollar. So first I want to start off, we're, we're going to talk about what not to do. So let's look at what a five minute chart on a Euro and New Zealand dollar. Now if you zoom this in, and we're talking about each one of these candles is five minutes long. So I want somebody here, while you're watching this video, stop and think for a minute. Tell me where you would take a trade on this chart. Can you think of one? Probably not. It's a little difficult to take a look at. This is one of the problems with a lot of traders is the market starts moving in one direction and they instantly just start pulling the trigger and you like for instance you'll see a trade will shoot up, 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 up and oh my gosh this thing is going up like crazy. You see this over here on a five minute chart? On this five minute candlestick right here, I'll zoom this in, that candlestick went from um, a, a low of 71.54 to 71.85. So it went up um, about 30 pips in five minutes. Now, what a lot of people would do in that situation is say, oh my gosh, this thing's taken off. I better get in and buy. Next thing you know, they buy right around here or in here. And oh shoot, market starts dropping. What do they do? It's at a loss and they close it out. <laughs> you see what I'm saying here? So, so the reality is that's what we call chasing the market. So we're going to try to show you some quick, sip, simple steps. Uh, and in this video, I actually have a a three-part um, playlist on here, here on YouTube called How to Trade Forex in Three Easy Steps. I'll put the link up there right now. There it is. And you can come back and watch it. You can watch it later or you can watch that now. It doesn't matter. But it talks to, to you about three main steps you need to look at when you're trading the market. So I'm going to change this chart back to what it was because I'm going to show you uh, more of a detailed way that we look at the chart. Sorry, my phone was ringing. And uh, let's, let's get back in here. These charts, actually, I, go, I like to go to four hour, 40 day charts. So let's start with the first thing. Number one, we always have to start with a top down analysis. For you to ch choose trades um, on a five minute chart, um, is asinine unless you are a, a scalp trader. The simplest way to trade and the way the banks focus on trading is looking more of a long-term approach. And this is taking trades off the daily and four-hour charts, especially the daily charts. Um, but to, for you to, to find trading opportunities on those daily charts, you have to look at the longer-term picture. And that is by looking at the longer-term charts, monthly and weekly charts. Monthly is not as much, weekly especially. Um, and so what that's going to do is give you more of a longer term outlook of where the market's going. See, on the five minute chart that we just showed you a few minutes ago, that's only showing you a very um, tightened view, a blinded view of the market. For you to see overall where the market is going, um, you have to start looking at the higher time frame. So we're going to start on this chart. I'm going to show you what we what I found, and this was a, a few weeks ago. I saw in advance potential opportunities, two opportunities. We set these trades up in advance. In fact, I think in fact we set these up three weeks ago. They took two weeks to happen for the first trade, and then a week later, um, three weeks into after I already set my trades up, the second trade hit, and I'm going to show you how we did this. So first thing I did is I looked at the monthly chart. And you can see here on the monthly chart um, that, um, th for the most part, price has been kind of going sideways. And since uh, around February 2009, the market shifted and it's kind of been going a downtrend. Now, 
the way you can see is a downtrend. Well, it's pointing down. <laughs> it's not too difficult. But now we've been kind of getting a around this range in here, um, around July, end of July 2012. Uh, the market kind of started settling and kind of formed a base here. You can see that we had a solid base level here, and um, this comes back down to trading off of support and resistance in our other videos. But you can see that the the downtrend kind of leveled off. Okay. And we price is slow to but surely started to turn around. Now, we, what we don't know is this could be a pullback in what was going to be a longer term downtrend. Most likely, we're going to start seeing that the Euro New Zealand dollar would continue to work its way back up. But what I did to see on, the, on, on this chart is we have a nice base here of support, um, which was the resistance at this point here. So, didn't see a huge opportunity, but at least I could get an idea of where the market's at if there's any. Um, past support or resistance points that may give us some bounce. Uh, where I really found the opportunity was looking at the weekly charts. I could see here over time that we had a really strong key level here. Like I'm going to see if I can stretch this weekly out a little further. Okay, and see what we got here. So right around this level here of 70.52, there was this is a good support level. Um, ish you know you know what I mean you're not going to have the exact levels but you can see here the even zooming in to the nearer term that this level is held pretty well as a good solid slash support level when it finally did broke through it came back and look what it did it came near this level and stayed there and uh, rejected we also saw that we had a base here we had some good um, support in this area here so here and here and at the time, um, price was really working its way. Uh, it was in this range here. This has been three weeks ago, so somewhere in this range, price was right in the middle. In fact, I'm going to zoom this in right now, real quick. Okay, and you see that how price was right in that middle range here about three weeks ago, and we saw the opportunity that we could take a buy opportunity somewhere down near here. Is is in fact what I finally took a level when I looked down to the daily charts I ended up finding that 6400 was really about the better place so what happened was price actually moved its way down so what here's what I did let's step back so I'm sorry about that let's step back I saw that since price was here in the middle and it seems to have been that it's been ranging between this 64 oh not 6400 level ish and 7050 ish all right and so what happened is I, I noticed that every time price comes up here has a strong rejection, when it comes up here has a strong rejection, it keeps bouncing between these levels. And they've held pretty well. So I, what I did is I took an opportunity to buy at the lowest support level, knowing that we're most likely going to have a bounce, it's going to continue in this range, and I sold up at this level here. So that was what I saw in the weekly chart. But I still had to get confirmation on the daily chart that I was seeing the same type of traits. And so let me zoom this in on the daily chart. And this would have been, I don't know the exact date. I think it was around the 17th we put these trade levels in. So somewhere around this range here, around the 17th, price was right in here. And I saw the same thing. that We had a pretty strong key level right in this area here. There's the wicks and the bodies right there. So around 70, 50. <coughs> but reality is we could have actually gone higher into 7,100. And taking an opportunity, but I I saw when I <laughs> scrolled through this that 7050 based on the weekly chart was very strong. Based on the daily chart, we're looking at the same thing. This thing keeps ranging be kind of between these these levels here. Um, <coughs> that's not the level I wanted, dear. So this is it around 6400. In fact, let me change that value. I went 6400. <coughs> okay, now so here's what I did. So we're on the 17th of June, right there, we put an order in. No, it had to have been after that. Yeah, it was a few days after that, I believe. Um, I think price had just hit this level. We missed that trade because I, I wasn't paying attention, and it was working its way back down again. So what I did is I took a an order. Uh, so it was July 17th. We actually saw that this get bouncing between these ranges. Now, if you haven't seen my course, it's like an ebook I've put together on how to trade ranges. You can search for that. Um, go to our website. 
uh, and do a search for that. But it's a really cool ebook. Explains how to train, trade trade ranges. And right now, the Euro New, New Zealand dollar has been in a range. And so what we do, what I did on the 17th, is I went ahead and placed an order to buy at 16400 with a profit target of 1.7. So right at run here. And then to sell at 7050 with a profit target back down to 16450, 16500 range. Okay, so here's what happened price came down. We stayed in that trade a few days. As soon as we got up a good amount of pips, uh, we closed out 50% of our position and moved our stop to break even. Now, what's that going to do? One, you just locked in some profit. Two, if the trade decided to take straight down, it doesn't matter. It would close the rest of the trade at break even and you'd at least made some profit on a trade. What you're doing is protecting your downside on the trade. At the same time, I already put an order in, knowing that the tr it was working its way down, but it could go any way. It was right in what we call no man's land, right here in the middle. And the market started going up, 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 up. I saw some rejection coming in here. I actually closed my trade out at 169.65, so 35 pips early, but still we're talking about um, 535 pips we, we, we closed that trade at um, and then I had an order here at 7050 now my order more than got filled I had a um, my order was set to 7050 um, and my stop loss was at uh, 7170 I had a 120 pip stop this is a this this pair can move some serious pips so you got to give it, give it some breathing room especially when you're trading this way off the long-term charts what happened was the high never got me took out I was close I was 17 pips away from getting stopped out however I did not get in at 7050 if you cut down into um, the daily uh, and more of a four-hour chart on that day which was <coughs> the fifth of August. Let's go to four hour chart so we can kind of show you what happened. This has got to be right in here. Oh, I'll just delete that. Right in here. You can see here on, where's the 5th of August? Somewhere in this range. Anyway, price had exploded. Yeah, right. Okay, it was, it was, it was the second. Price had exploded up on this trade. Um, and basically took us to a point of almost getting stopped out. And it was to the point to where I did not get filled at my 7050 range. Um, it, my, by the time my broker, the market moved so quick. By the time the broker filled my order, it filled it at um, 7120. So I actually got 20, 70 pips deeper when, when the order got filled. And then look here what happened on the daily chart. Sure enough, it rejected off of that and continued working its way down. Now, this has been a couple of days. As of today, this price is this thing was up as high as oh, let's see here. Let me do some math here. 450 pips. Um, we ended up closing it out at almost 300, 291, I think it was. We closed it out today. So this range, and now it's still continuing to fall down. But um, I went ahead and pulled the plug on that trade. Uh, because I, I can see that the way it's kind of going sideways, sideways, I'm seeing some potential that this thing could be a bounce spot and we could end up seeing a further increase of continuation of what was an uptrend, right? How it's been uptrend and uptrend. You go sideways for a while, then continue skyrocketing back up the trend. So anyway, folks, it's, it's trading the markets isn't, doesn't have to be that difficult. First of all, uh, make sure you watch our videos on equity management, but do a top-down analysis. Look at the monthly chart. Look at key levels. Look at levels that the market has continued to hit that and have where it's rejected. This would be one right up here. We're far from that. But start with a monthly chart. You're not going to see as much on there as you would a weekly chart. You can see how, like here, the market went range-bound. You could have had a lot of opportunities, several, to sell <coughs> I mean to buy, pull some profit out. We would have got stopped out at break even here. <coughs> buy again. <coughs> got to got fully closed on your position here. Sold. Took all your profit out there. Bought again. Sold again. You see, you see what I'm saying? We could have taken a tremendous number of trades right there just by following that range that was in. And the same thing here. The market's been in a range for the last week and a half. 
Uh, actually, uh, last couple of months. I'm sorry about that. We're in a weekly chart, and you, you can trade the ranges. You take trade the bottom. Eventually, it's going to break out, and you're going to you will get stopped out, or you, it'll break out, and then it'll pull back again. You'll have a chance to close it break even, which happens a lot. But guys, it's not that difficult if you really just take the time to be patient. And sometimes, folks, I've had to set trades in advance six weeks in advance. You know, today we took a pound yen trade that I do believe we set up. Uh, let me go to the pound yen real quick. I think we set this thing up, oh my gosh, June? The market just came down. See this 147.82? How this has been a strong uh, resistance and support level, what we call a key level. See right here? See it right here? See right here? So price was up, in this, up here. I put an order back in this thing, I'm guessing end of June. So we're talking six weeks ago to take if price would pull all the way back to 147.82, I'm buying. And sure enough, price came back, hit that level. Look how it rejected. Now the way that works, I'll zoom that in. When you see price hit like that and then bounce, that is a strong indicator that the market completely is rejecting that level. It barely came down past our level before it shot back up. Um, in fact, it shot back up. Let me see, 250 pips. Is that right? No. Yeah, yeah, 250 pips. A little, little over, over that, about 250 pips. But right now we are up, uh, let's see here, 150 pips ish, some, somewhere in that range. Uh, it's still doing well. This trade is still going and it's still working its way back up. And, and what, what I did is I closed out 75% of that trade because we, we, we closed out like a 2.5%, 2.7% gain on that trade already. Um, it closed out 75% of the position, moved my stop all the way up in here, okay? And uh, like 149.20. And then if it moves down a little bit more and stops this out, hey, the rest of the close trade out and more, even more profit. If it continues up, then that's just a good upswing. So you can see, in, see with this that we're in a range. This is a good place to buy. Obviously, this is a great place to be looking for selling opportunities. So if price continues to move back up, I'm going to be looking to potentially sell this thing at 153.63. So, anyway, that's it, folks, for today's little video. Um, just look at, start with the monthly, potentially, if you want to do that, but at least look at the weekly charts, the daily charts, and the four hour charts. That's called a top down analysis. You have to look at, before you take a trade off of the daily chart or the four hour chart, you have to look at the long term of where the market's been moving the trade. It gives you a whole different um, picture about where the market's going. So if you continue doing that, um, I think you'll find that your trading is easier. And you want to make sure, again, I've talked about this before, you buy the dips in an uptrend, you sell the rallies in, an, in a downtrend, right? When the market's going up or sideways, let's say looking at, at an up market, you wait for pullbacks to key levels back up key levels price moved back up key level back up right you look for those opportunities price had rejected here so it was a good in here so it was a good opportunity that price was going to reject here so as price was going up 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 we're looking for a place where price would come down and bounce right i talked about this in our webinars too about floors and ceilings so anyway folks fo keep focus on keep trading uh, keep digging into our materials on our website and on YouTube and uh, let us know how we can help you. Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's training video. If you have not done so already, stop this video now and go to TradeAdvisorPro.com forward slash free and register absolutely free for free Forex training, free Forex training videos and free Forex trade alerts directly to your inbox. Go to the website right now and register for free all kinds of goodies for you. Thanks a lot.